Okay. So um, I, I teach this thing. Well, I don't teach. Well, I got it from David Hawkins, my teacher. I cancel my belief in whatever it is. I cancel my belief in a sinus infection. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Now, you've got to understand the words you use. Everything has a calibration. And some words you use are more aligned with the absolute truth. And some words you use are less aligned. And some words you may use are totally in the opposite direction of truth. So you can actually calibrate that with muscle testing, with kinesiology. Like, I'm an infinite being in truth would be different to the truth of what I am is a limited body. You see, if you could, you could calibrate them and the vibration of those different phrases uh, will have a different vibration. So some will some will free you and give you happiness faster and some won't. So everything has a vibration. And some things are very, very high and some things a little bit less high. And some things are really going to be the things that will just take you away from being infinite. So every word every, and how you say the word has a, a sort of a, a, a resonance. <clears throat> so by all means, when you're doing spiritual prayers and, and affirmations, um, you can change them. You know, and usually if you feel they're right and you're vibrating well, they usually are good. Um, however, you know, if there's an intuition that it's, you know, and you can use whatever works for you at the time. And sometimes they may be more helpful until you can use a more high, high vibration expression. Of course, you know, stay away from anything that you think might be totally misaligned um, with the truth. Otherwise, you can you can definitely change um, the statements. Um uh, blasphemy um well yeah you just want to you know there are certain things and certain phrases um that you don't want to do uh because they, they'd probably take you very strongly into bondage so just try and avoid those and stick with you know if you read the course in miracles or read something like the big book um you'll get lots of examples of prayers and you just do prayers similar to those and that those should keep you relatively safe 